the Northern Irish problem could solve itself for the British government. Then the government in Dublin must be angry with the unionists. The Northern Ireland problem with Brexit has been postponed again. The UK government has agreed not to violate international law and wants to remove several controversial paragraphs from the Single Market Act to guarantee an open border in Ireland. In return, the European Union promises to minimize controls on food and medical products imported into Northern Ireland from the UK. Actually, from January 1st, import duties would have been due for such goods. Trustworthy traders can now bypass these tariffs. The EU trusts that the goods will not be smuggled into the Republic of Ireland. That means the EU. The agreement is initially valid for three and a half years. And a lot can happen during this time. And talking about goods, I just want to mention one thing because it pops up in the comments more and more. To those people who always write, then we will just reduce the tariffs on non-EU goods and they are much cheaper than that what's coming in from the EU then. Could you stop embarrassing yourself? Because if you have no clue what WTO rules are, because they don't allow that, don't comment on WTO rules. You're really just embarrassing yourself because I have read them. Most likely, Scotland will no longer be part of the United Kingdom, where Brexit has triggered a change of opinion in favor of independence. And although soon you'll see another video why it's a bit problematic for Scotland then to join the EU. I personally would welcome Scotland into the EU and I think it's getting more and more likely that we'll see Scottish independence soon. And Northern Ireland also voted against Brexit by a majority in the referendum. The 1998 Belfast Good Friday Agreement provides that Northern Ireland will remain part of the United Kingdom for as long as the majority of the population wishes. This majority is crumbling, and not only because of the demographic changes that have led to almost parity between Protestants and Catholics. Quite a number of moderate unionists are now more afraid of Brexit than of a unified Ireland. It would be a relief for the British government to get rid of the unloved colony. And the English people would not cry a tear after the Northern Irish. In this way, the Northern Irish problem will solve itself for the British government in time. Then the government in Dublin will have to grapple with the unionists and ensure that their radical wing does not take up arms. And that is something else we all don't want to see. I want to emphasize that one. Neither way, not with Northern Ireland belonging to Great Britain at the moment and not after a possible unification. We never want those times again. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget my other two channels. I'll see you in my next video. Viel Spaß.